Gaming RC. Hey everybody, welcome to another quick save review with me, RC, here on GGRC. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Shakedown Hawaii. Now, Shakedown Hawaii is made by the same crew, uh, same guy at least, who created Retro City Rampage. It's a game that's been out for a very long time and it is out on an absolute crap ton of different platforms, you know, from from Switch all the way back to the Vita. Like, it's, it's on a lot of different things. Now, the interesting thing about Retro City Rampage is that it wasn't a game that I really felt all that strongly about. Uh, to be quite honest, when it came out on the Vita, uh, I played it back then on it, and I don't know if it's because the screen on the Vita was kind of small, but uh, you'll see it with Shakedown Hawaii as well. Sort of the, the whole idea behind this game is that it's, it's pixel art style, uh, and it's very, very small, everything on screen, but while that game didn't do a whole lot for me back when it came out, like I said, I think it's because it was on the smaller portable Vita screen. I want to give it another shot on the Switch here because they did re-release it on the Switch as well. Um, but Shakedown Hawaii, I'm actually having an absolute ton of fun with, which is why I'm, I'm sort of thinking about going back and trying out Retro City Rampage again. Um, because this game has been so much fun to the point where like, I started it and I was kind of like, oh my god, I... I, I wish I didn't have to take a break right now because I want to keep playing it and see where it's going uh, because it has a uh, great it has a great look uh, the art style is really cool it's definitely got the pixel art thing going on but it's sort of, it's sort of unique compared to other pixel art games it's got its own style um, it's very much uh, GTA uh, based you know the the original uh, GTA 1 and 2 that came out in the 90s before uh, GTA 3 came out so if you're a fan of those original Grand Theft Auto games you're probably going to enjoy this uh, there's a there's a lot of humor. There's a lot of funny dialogue. Um, there's a lot of uh, commentary on the industry, you know, the games industry and other, uh, you know, uh, industries as well, making fun of like corporations and everybody trying to make a buck the easy way. That's what this is all about. Uh, basically, the story starts where you're playing as this older gentleman. Um, he apparently had written a book where uh, he had a company, and the book was called something like "My Company Runs Itself," uh, and I'm going to the beach, and that was his book. And so basically, I think that's what he literally did uh, because he got a call later to only to find out that uh, all of his stuff everything that he owned and everything is pretty much going down the tubes and it just goes uh, silly from there because he tries to get on television and he, he you know he's trying to start uh, he's trying to get like a, a percent of the billion dollar games industry and stuff like that So it's really silly and really funny and as much as I like the humor the game is a lot of fun, too uh, You go from you know driving to it being a twin stick shooter shooter uh, that kind of thing um, But you know enough gushing at the moment. Uh, why don't we jump into the game so I can actually show you what I'm talking about? Okay, let's jump into the game shall we? So here you have a different, uh, a few different things that you can do. Uh, you have your story mode, which was uh, what I've primarily been playing, but there are arcade challenges as well. And I have to say, the arcade challenges are pretty fun, but we will come back to that after I show you what the meat of the game actually is. Uh, we're actually going, you can see we're about 70, uh, I'm sorry, not 77% into it. We've only completed 14 of the 126 story missions. Three of 83 shakedowns, so we're still pretty new, you know, we're, we're still in the, the starting motions of this game. Like I said, I, I think I put about an hour and a half into this game so far. Uh, but here is our main character here. You can see as a, a pixel art character, you know, he's just a silly little guy. You can jump around, you can jump. Uh, you start off running slow, and as you hold down the button, he starts running more. Here's our next mission up here, so we'll check that out in a second. Here, uh, you can steal cars anytime you want to, just by hitting the X button. And you can drive off with the shrimp mobile. Uh, one of my favorite things to do with the mo the with the cars is to actually uh, head towards where there's water and dump the, the cars into the water, which is, in my opinion, one of the funnest things you can do. Uh, let's go into our first mission here, so you can get get a taste for what this game asks you know uh, wants you to do. So here we go. You actually have the main guy, the old guy's son here. There he goes. Yeah. Yo, DJ Jock Itch in the his house. So basically, his son's got his own thing going on. This is his son here with the with the crazy pointy mohawk thing going on, the casualties mohawk, and he is uh, not wanting to get any kind of a job whatsoever. He basically just wants to 
uh, become some kind of a, a rap star or something like that. So I guess he's got some kind of album. They haven't played any of his music or anything yet. I, I'm hoping at some point they will. Um, so he's basically trying to get street cred so he can sell his albums because he does not want to get a real job. So he says, who? I'm here to join your crew. Get lost. So I'm sure at this point we're going to have to prove to them that we can join their crew. So uh, one of the other things I want to point out as well, I don't remember if this was in Retro City Rampage or not, but when they're pointing you to an area, you can see it says go 178 pixels, which I think is great. Uh, they don't use, you know, actual measurements. <laughs> they say pixels. Makes me laugh. I like it. Game has a good sense of humor about itself. Hey, I told you to beat it. What you up to back here? You think you can roll with us? Prove it or get lost. Go stop that fool over there. Alright, so at this point, it says uh, B to jump and Y to stop. So you can... There you go. Jump right on. Not bad. Let's see if that wasn't just luck. There's a stop. Boom! Hmm. Tired of the mess, then meet me back inside. We'll chat. Pick up the bodies and throw them in the water. So you can do all kinds of crazy stuff like this. So we pick this guy up. Oh, that guy totally didn't get in the water, did he? We're gonna have to run up and get that one guy. <laughs> I don't know where his body went. There we go. That's pretty funny, though. You can jump with his body, like holding him. There we go, we got him. Run back around front. And here's the subways. Now, the subways are basically like your fast travels, which is kind of interesting. Uh, and you can see if you hit the minus button, this is our map. So this is zoomed out all the way. Uh, you can actually buy, and we'll, we'll buy one of these right now, actually. We got, uh, no, we only got 34k, so I don't think we can afford one yet. We got to get up to 70k, I think. Uh, though we can, looks like we can buy this one. Um, so this is a Mu Mualio Trailer Pub. All right, let's just buy this one. And then when you buy it, that'll actually increase the amount of money that you get while you play the game. So while you're playing it, it's almost like an idle game in the background where it keeps, you know, funding you and giving you money so you can keep buying other places and uh, keeping the place going. Um, so, yeah, you can see these little T's that are all over the place. These are your subway, uh, your, your subway exits here. You just jump into the subway, go where you want to go, wherever the next mission is, and you can do that. Uh, there's still a lot of stuff I haven't done in this game yet, uh, but like I said, I'm having an absolute ball with it. Here's his car here. We'll, we'll jump into that. It's funny that it kind of sat here waiting for me. Our next mission is actually right down the, the right down the road here. Here's Feeble Multinational. I believe this is the TV studio. So we might get a little bit more story with this, which would be great. Or no, Feeble, I'm sorry. This is actually his company. Uh, the TV studio, I think, is down the road. Let me get this straight. You told uh, Cape Cola to throw their entire budget into this rebranding initiative. So the cola is actually the, him trying to get a, a percent of the billion-dollar game industry. If that flops, they'll be finished. Hmm. You bought five dollars on a coffee, then lecture me about spending. Five dollars for a coffee isn't out of the ordinary, sir. Isn't out of the ordinary. Since when? Clearly, we're in the wrong business then. So what's really funny is a lot of these guys like try to teach him that like a lot of this stuff is just the way of things now. So like five dollar coffee, uh, his son mentions like double XP weekends for games, and he's like, "What the hell is a double XP?" So they, ha I don't think they've actually explained that to him yet, which is really funny. Uh, he says that streaming is a fad. There's a, there's all kinds of silly stuff in here, very very much like old man doesn't understand the new world type of thing. Uh, one of the funniest jokes actually was was in the very beginning where he went to go buy some uh, word processing software because he had to type up some stuff and he was going to buy it and he's like, what happened to the buy button? Because everything says rent. So like, you know, for, for a year, for $400, you can get this one version of the pro word processing software and there was like seven different versions of it. So pretty funny stuff. All right, it's from that coffee shop just east of here. All right, so we're going to head over to the coffee shop, it looks like. Let's see if they're willing to sell their fine business to us. Um, I guess we just buy now. There we go. Now we have another business. There's another one north of us, too. Let's corner the market and lock them both. And we might as well. Got them both. Anyway, back to the business at hand. Let's check in, with, check in with that consultant of ours. 
All right, so every now and then you're also going to get this guy who... Because uh, there's a lot of sub-stories and subplots going on in this game, and that's kind of what I like about it, is that this guy in the pink... I forget his name, he's the, the older guy we were talking about who doesn't get things, but he's sort of the, the owner of all these different businesses and things going on. <clears throat> Excuse me. And he is making all these connections and sub-stories and subplots with everybody. This guy in particular, he's going to different farms and plantations and trying to get the drug cartels out of there. And so that way they can give the farms back to the farmers, but also make a profit on the, the farms and everything. Everything is about money. Everything is about making money in this game. So he says, looks like these guys are stationed just north of the plantation. Good man. Send us any files you find there, too. You got it, amigo. So then you'll, you'll jump into these uh, particular missions here, these uh, twin stick shooter missions. Oop, he got me there. And you're just going to take these guys out. You're going to basically upgrade as you go, grab their guns. And I love these parts because this is where, you know, as much uh, as much as the uh, driving and everything, you know, it'll feel like 90s Grand Theft Auto before we went 3D. You got these great portions here that feel like an old school NES game, which I absolutely just love. Whoa! This one's really long piece. There we go. I'm going to grab that heart. We got another guy there. Oh, oh, we're taking some. I want to get that heart. There we go. 10 out of 14. We're not doing too bad here, though. I think that's everybody. So every time you finish one of these missions, this is actually only the second one of these that I've done. Uh, but you'll run in here. And you'll grab the files and you'll send these back. So they're almost, they're just like fun, really fun, quick little missions that you can play, which I, I really love. And that's one of the things I really like about this game is that everything you do is just like a quick little thing that you're doing. You know, a lot of the missions do not extend past like a couple minutes, which I, I love. Uh, that you just like are constantly jumping to some new thing, but it's all related. It's like, oh, this is a shooting thing, or oh, this is a driving thing, or oh, this one's gonna be one where I gotta stop a guy's head and throw him in the water. Like whatever it is, it's gonna be a real quick, fun thing. And the story and the dialogue is really clever and smart and uh, funny. So I, I just like always look forward to seeing what people are gonna say after the fact too. So he says he found more files, sending them over, and then we head back. Got a banana, I guess. I'm not sure why. New revenue, oh, that's why, new revenue stream, bananas, I didn't see that. So it's actually behind my webcam here. Uh, let me see here. There you go. So you can see up there, bananas, <laughs> which is pretty great. Uh, so anyway, let's move on here, shall we? And there's our guy grabbing some shrimp, and he's getting a call in. So here we go. I see you've been busy uh, acquiring some assets. If you fancy the landlord angle, a few houses have just come onto the market. They're fixer-uppers, but a good foot in the door. So there's quite a few, actually. If we acquire enough, we could create a housing shortage and inflate their value. Plus, we'll be earning rent from the tenants. Seems pretty crooked, but you know what? We'll do what we gotta do. All right, that was down here. All right, so that one's, wow, that one's pretty expensive, actually. Here are the other ones. These are all really cheap, I think, yeah. So we'll just buy a crop of these for now. We'll come back. Everything's going up little by little here. But we could buy all of these little ones here. There we go, buy all the houses there. We had this one to buy. We won't be able to afford the most expensive one there, but we got the majority of them. Which was this one. We can still afford that one. We still afford that one. Okay, we're good. And here we are. Uh, your base of operations is... Oh, oh, I don't want to forget my car here. I'm sure my car will come back, but... Oh, we're getting another call. No something happening in industrial areas. The buildings are beginning to fill with artists. Artists? Our canaries in the gold mine. <laughs> Precisely. They're paving the road with our future waterfront condos. And high-priced coffee shops if we get in there now. 
take a look and see what grabs your eye. So everything in this game seems to be for sale, which is what's really funny. Like you'll see all of these places pop up. There you go, mid-range industrial, look at that. Things are starting to get much more expensive, but that's okay because we're gonna start earning a lot more money. So it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, everything you see on the block here, it's just funny to me that everything has a uh, price tag on it and is for sale. Uh, pretty silly. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying this game. I'm having a lot of fun with it, despite, you know, me not being the biggest fan of the first game. Uh, like I said, I would like to revisit. And I'm really surprised that people are not talking more about this game, to be quite honest. It came out earlier this month. And um, I just recently got a key for it, and uh, just playing it uh, recently, I'm like, how are people not talking about this game more? It's like funny, it's fun, it's got good dialogue, It's it's it doesn't seem like a super, super long game, so it's something you're probably going to spend like, you know, 10 hours with, and then you're, you're, you're good to go. But I'm really surprised that people are talking about this game more. Uh, another locker, another jackpot. I found a couple used coat hangers, that's $50 right there. Half a chair. It's got three good legs on it. That's a hundred easy. Plus a battery cover. People need those. I can get a hundred cash for that. No problem. The snow's doing it wrong. I want to watch the after show instead. Uh, chronicling their trips to the dump. And that looks... And the looks on their faces when they discover how worthless everything is. Everyone likes a, you know, good Pawn Stars type of show. Or no, that's not the name of that one. What's the one where they buy the, uh, uh, you know, the, the lots or the garages or, or whatever? The storage, the storage wars, I think that's what it is. They buy the storage units and then they try to open it up and try to fool people into being like, yeah, there's $5,000 worth of stuff in here, right? Uh, let's see, I got a job for you. Get over here. All right, so now we're jumping back over to his son. So you, you're going to do this a lot. You're going to be jumping back and forth between the dad and the son quite a bit. Oh, yeah, and you can get cars or... Uh, Motorcycles, too, which is great. Uh, I love the uh, the dual story thing. I love the fact that you're dealing with the guy and his, like, real dumb son <laughs> most of the time. Pretty great, but pretty silly stuff. I had an inside tip about a storage locker with a monster truck in it. Some tool outbid me and nabbed it. I deserve that truck fair and square. Okay, fair enough. Go take it from them. So we're going to run over there, beat these guys up, take this truck, and bring it back. Oh, we're going to paint it so I can say it's from somewhere else. Okay, fair enough. I guess we could do that. All right. So we got a little bit of ways to go here. Oh, yeah, so when you... Oh, we got the cops on us. So when you hit people, cops will come after you. Um, but you will get money from people as well. So, if you need money, the easiest way to do it is just take out a bunch of pedestrians and grab the money. Grab the cash. Alright, I'm just gonna go for it. Oh man, this thing boobs slow. Oh, that guy's not happy about me being here either. Alright, we're in. What kind of color we want to go with here? Let's go with the, uh, the pink, because why not? That's fun. There we go. We stole it. We didn't even have to kill those guys. We just stole it. Easily could have taken them out, though, I'm sure. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry. Nope. Leave my truck alone, please. Not trying to hurt anybody. Do you notice that, like, as soon as I hit those vehicles, <laughs> they exploded? Pretty insane. All right, here we are. We got the truck there. Take vehicles to garages to paint and repair them. Get the cops off your tail by painting your vehicle. So you can see even like an hour and a half to two hours into the game, they're still giving you small little tips and tutorials and stuff. That scene of the guy watching TV too, you're going to see that scene a lot. That is, <laughs> that is something you're going to see a lot. So get used to seeing the dude's crotch basically in your face. Uh, get perfect vision today. Only 495 per eye. Per eye. Who's getting just one eye? <laughs> right? Ours are cola cash cow. Marketing's working on it, but they've hit a bit of a snag. The host for today's commercial shoot never showed up. Well, let's just get some staff member to do it. It'll cost nothing. Plus, 
save us those union dues. All right, if you can find someone, send him over to the studio right away. I'm assuming his son, he's gonna have his son do it. Would be my guess. Ah! Oh, mission was over here. Gaming the system. Take Chad to the TV studio. So I'm assuming Chad, he was the guy who works at that, uh, that auto place there, I guess. So auto place is definitely another another place that we had bought. And uh, every now and then you'll you'll see the, uh, you know, obviously it's called Shakedown, right? The name of the game. Uh, you will be going into different convenience stores and other places like that, and you will do in the, will be doing the whole Shakedown thing. Oh, jeez, the cops saw that one. I'm not gonna be able to shake them on this one. Uh, that wasn't too bad actually. Uh, so anyway, yeah, you'll walk in and you'll be like, hey, uh, I heard you need protection. And they'll be like, oh, no, we're good. And then he's like, oh, okay, well, I guess you don't like your shelves. So <laughs> there is a mission where you're just destroying the guy's shelves. And he's like, okay, okay, I'll pay you the protection money. Just stop destroying my stuff. So you're doing some real illegal things, let's just say. All right, we're going to pass you guys up. There we go. Made it to the TV studio. There it is. All right. So you're the guy. Okay, then. We're filming a video game commercial to cross-promote some new beverage. Just funny, because this guy's got a band-aid on his face, and he's got a black eye, it looks like. So, I don't know. Maybe go to makeup first? Take you to play a lot of games? Nah, brah. Hmm. Like, you're using pre-recorded footage, anyway. Just sway from side to side and press buttons. All right. Cool. Oh, this is funny. You actually get to do it. Oh, I, I don't know if I did well there. Mission failed. Hold on. I wasn't put it, quite putting it together. Cut. Find a union actor and bill it to the <laughs> CEO. All right, get ready. All right, go left. Uh, y, B, X, A. Y, B, Y, B, X, A. Go right. Oh, okay. So you just mash buttons at that part. Then you go left. I see. Oop, go right. Mash buttons. Go left. Okay. <laughs> this is pretty funny. I gotta be honest. Fun little mini game thing that they threw in there. Yo, this smells like gym socks. Gross. Don't worry about that. We'll get you a spit uh, a spit bucket. <laughs> He's like, ugh. Later that evening. How that commercial go? Seemed to go fine. Good, good. So it's a live stream anyway. A live stream? Why do you ask? Well, those cameras over there labeled live stream say they're recording. They're what? Oh, no. Gaming Cola. Epic fail. <laughs> you had to know. <coughs> Excuse me. Exposed. Everything wrong with Gaming Cola. Fake. Game over for Gaming Cola. Wow, totally ruined. Switch it back to the old cola immediately. Re Relabel -re every can. We've got to get them back onto the shelves. <laughs> we can't. You told us to spend all of uh, Cape Cola's cash on these commercials. There's nothing left. Every now and then you're gonna get cut to those scenes too where you see his face and he's got a vein in his forehead just popping, which is really silly. What's the status on Operation Banana Skew? Well, mm, it's, uh... Damn it, Ron. Time for Plan B. You hear back from them yet? Okay, so this, I believe, if I remember correctly, this is his book agent when he wrote the book originally. Was well, anything else casting, like, right now? Anything that would give me an advance, a big advance? I'll see what I can do. But if it's that urgent, you should probably explore other sources of income. This is the other source of income. <laughs> there goes the vein again. He's not happy. 
All right, well. We'll go check in at the coffee shop, I guess. Oh, not before we get a call. I heard the news. If you need some capital to float the Cola subsidiary, I found another property that could benefit from rezoning. It's a scrappy market now, but we could triple its value by turning it into a luxury shopping center. Okay, I'll take a look. Uh, we, don't have, we do not have the funds for that. However, uh, we can. Yeah, we don't have enough cash, it says. So we're going to hit buy later. And we're going to pop out here. We're going to see if there's other things we can buy. We had this one that was... Okay, it's up to 15. Oh, yeah, no wonder. That one says it's $36,000. And it's like, you can say it's in gold. So it's like one of the more expensive ones. Uh, let's see. These are all the car shops that we still need to buy. Can we buy some of these cheaper places here? Yeah, let's get these cheap ones out of the way. And let's see, what else we got? How about over here? Okay, we could buy that one. And not buy that one. I think that's good enough for now. All right, back to it. Ooh, jumped right in front of that. <laughs> kind of wanted to steal this blue car. Looks awesome. Whoops. Sorry about that. Knocked the microphone for a moment. Uh, wow, this car is speedy. This is one I, I would definitely park in my... You do have a private garage that you could park your, your vehicles into, and you could save them for later. That's one I would totally save. Nice to meet you, sir. You as well. I've heard great things about this coffee business. Wait a second, these numbers don't look right. We're charging $5 a cup. Why isn't there enough profit for me to buy a yacht yet? Coffee's made from fair trade, small batch, hand roasted beans, sir. They're not cheap. The amount we're paying for these beans doesn't sound like a fair trade at all. I'll be right back. Uh-oh, this is not gonna be good. It's time to source uh, some cheaper beans off the back of a truck. <laughs> all right, so we gotta find a delivery truck. Ah, uh -huh, there's one. We're gonna go ahead and just lift that. Oh, we gotta lose the cops now in this super uh -huh. slow coffee vehicle. And that's one of the other things I really like about this game too, is like as soon as the cops are off screen, they don't see you, they're gone. There's not gonna be any of this like, you're, you're you know, being chased for five minutes type of stuff. At least not yet anyway. Oh geez, I did that right in front of the cops and he did not even care. Look at this dude dancing with his necklace on. Really funny. Alright, we're gonna park this right in there. There we go. And we did it. And every now and then you're gonna get this screen too that lets you know like current ass assets are at 10%. We got 44 out of 415. Your goal obviously being gonna be like buying the whole island at some point. So at some point we will get to that point where we're just we own everything, we're making money off of everything. Uh, so we have an uh, assets value of almost a million, but our daily revenue is only, uh, it's actually going to jump up to 12,000 here right after this mission here. Uh, so you can see it slowly but surely, you know, ticking up as you play. Steal a coffee truck a day to keep inventory costs at bay. All right. So if you ever see those coffee trucks, I guess you could just bring them right over here, right? And back to the shop. I was able to uh, source cheaper supply. I don't know what she's doing with her shoulders here, but... Now that, now that that's taken care of, what's next? Maybe she drinks too much coffee? Wired. There's also a war on plastic straws. A war on plastic straws? That's true. Still going on. People want us to stop giving customers straws? Yes, due to their environmental impact. Holy moly, this is just the excuse we needed. Excuse? National chains will save millions by phasing out straws. We'll save a pretty penny ourselves, too. Phase them out immediately. I think this coffee shop might just earn me that yacht after all. Good good work. People uh, Multinational recently acquired a local coffee shop chain and big changes are ahead. Today, the coffee shops announced that they're banning plastic straws to help save the planet. So wonderful to see large companies put the environment before profits, Jeff. I couldn't agree more, Carol. Oh, so you got some good press there too. Very nice. Oh, and look at that, our daily revenue went up by two grand. Very nice. 
All right, mission complete, but it's right back into another mission. They do not give you much of a break in this game. Like, if you finish one mission, most of the time, it's like you're getting a call or you're starting the next mission immediately after, which I do like. It's just like rapid fire, like boom, 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 keep on going. Good news, it's about time. Yes, your chances are looking good. Head over to IBS for your second audition as soon as possible. So we're going to go do the audition real quick here. I want to see what this is all about. This audition stuff is usually very funny. Just based on the old guy's attitude. It's very funny stuff. Alright, we'll head this way. Oh, come on, guys. Killing me here. Alright, into the movie studio we go. Welcome back, my man. Pretty impressive the other day. We just need to make sure your knees and hips are in as good a shape as your trigger finger. Death Cam HD audition number two. Three, two, one. Okay, looks like we're running and jumping here. Okay, not doing too bad. Ah! Well, that was quick. I surely was not paying attention. Okay, we made that one. Oop. Okay, we made that one. Keep going. Hey, we made it. Very nice. So this is audition two for that death show. The first one had us like shooting a whole bunch of stuff and I think we blew up a car at the end too, um, which is pretty funny, but he says, damn, you're spry. Got time to jump straight into your third audition right now? Let's go. <laughs> okay, here we go. Woo! Bar jump. Keep going. Another jump. Fun with conveyor belts, I guess. Whoa! Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, I didn't kill us. Though. Oh, get to the go. There we go. Hey, there we go. Made it again. Is that enough for you? How are your joints? Just fine, son. All right. You might just have the underdog persona we need to rake in some ratings. Keep your phone close, Gramps. I hope that he puts his hands up like, like, like that every time, like he's composing some dumb shot. Oh, my joints. Ron, make me an appointment with my <laughs> rheumatologist. I'll pass the request on to your secretary at once. And there you go. Mission complete. And he's calling somebody. Did you fix everything yet? We're doing our best, sir, but we're running on fumes here. Well, what's the holdup? Uh, Cape Cola's straw-based bailout won't last forever. We need to cut costs in a drastic way, or it might not pull through. Get brainstorming and keep me posted. <laughs> I love when they show him like just like getting mad on the street and stuff too. I think my blood sugar's low. I need some comfort food. Oh, that doesn't sound too bad. What is comfort food for this guy? Sorry. Whoops, sorry, dude. Oh, got the cops on me. Hopefully not for long. Yep, I lost the cops, okay. Well, I did lose the, oh, that's not gonna help. Running over cops. That's where our mission is right there, too. And I think we're... Jeez. I can't get away. <laughs> I can't get away now. This is the most I've had the cops after me here, to be quite honest. So, so far, so good. Things have been all right for me in this game. I haven't been getting into too much trouble. All right, let's just slow down. We're not going to lose them another time here. Because we're really making them mad, I think. All right. And 
There we are. Park here. Let's get some comfort food, shall we? Shrink wrap. This is hot damn. My favorite cottage cheese got a price drop. <laughs> Who doesn't like that, huh? Cottage cheese. Wait a second. It's half the size now. That's no price drop. Those clever buggers. I think I've stumbled upon the solution to cutting uh, copy cola's cost. Gather the other executives for a meeting. It might be time to take some new measurements. Oh, I have a feeling we're gonna have like real tiny Coke bottles going here. What do you guys think? All right. I think we'll finish up this mission <clears throat> and then we will head over to the arcade stuff so you guys can check that out. But I think this gives you a pretty good look at this game. Like I said, it's a game that I'm actually very surprised that more outlets and more people are not talking about because I am having a ball with this game. I think it's awesome. It's a it's a joy to control and it's a joy to play because of all the silliness that's going on. Uh, today, a competitor got one up on us. Normally, I'd be furious, but they fumbled their execution, leaving the goal wide open. They brilliantly reduced their product's contents, but then foolishly shrunk the packaging, too. Idiots! <laughs> Look at this. If we do the same, we'll leave their package uh, dimensions untouched. We'll be rich. So you just, like, leave, like, a third of the soda out of it? <laughs> Ridiculous. By the way, anyone participating in this year's Secret Santa should uh, meet me afterwards in the triage conference room. So the, the funny thing about this, though, is that um, for those of you who obviously you know live in America watching this, you know that years and years ago that they actually did this with potato chips, right? You used to get a potato chip bag. I remember like they used to fill the chips up pretty good in a potato chip bag, but then at some point they decided in the potato chip bags, we're only going to fill up the bag about a third of the way. And I remember when that happened because I remember my parents were really irritated by that because they're like, you buy a bag now, it's only full, you know, a third of the way. Just, and then everyone just came to accept it, you know, it's pretty ridiculous. It says, yes, yes, ideas like this are uh, why I pay myself the big bucks. I'd pat myself on the back if I were limber enough to reach. <laughs> but sir, the bottle is clear. Customers can see through the bottle. Why didn't you tell me before I exported my slides? <laughs> Sorry, sir. We'll figure out a way to make them opaque. Probably a good idea. All right, daily revenue goes up. Only plus $5, which is kind of silly. Uh, but we're back to the sun here. And before we do the sun mission, we're actually going to bail out here. And we are going to go... And the game does a really good job of auto-saving, by the way. I'm just going to save anyway, just so that way it does have everything I've recently done. Um, I don't think I had to worry about that, too. Oh, and there is a stat screen, too, for anybody keeping score. We actually... Um, oh, okay. I said that I played about an hour and a half. I guess maybe I was closer to about an hour. Uh, it was harder for me to gauge my time because I had to uh, get up and leave the game so many times. I've been trying to play this game in between like doing housework and stuff like that at the house here. But all that aside... Uh, it looks like now I am up to about an hour and a half of the game, and I'm at about 12%. Um, anyway, uh, 22 of the 111 main missions. I haven't done any of the side quests or anything, so there's actually it seems like there's a lot to do in this game, too. Uh, really digging it. Really digging it. Even without the arcade challenges, I recommend it. All right, uh, so in each one of these, uh, in the arcade challenges, you have score challenges and you have weapon challenges. So... Depending on what you're doing here, uh, I'll show you the one that they, they give you in the game first off, which is the coin crate smash and stash. Uh, so basically, you go into this area with this gun and you just destroy everything that you can. You're going to have cops and everything coming after you, just like that. Uh, but what you want to do is you got to pick up all of the coins as quick as you can, because uh, that is going to go and count towards your score. And you can see at the top middle, it says you, and there's a little thing that keeps crawling up as you keep... Wow, that cop really wants to destroy me. Uh, but you'll see that uh, that score keeps cropping up the more of these that you pick up. Uh, the secret is the gold coins, obviously. you got to get those gold coins. Those are really going to help. Uh, we go right through the middle here. This is going to give you a whole bunch of stuff here. And then break all these crates down here. This is another another little tip here. 
Now, I've already finished this one. I, I don't know if I'm actually going to pass my high score here yet. I don't think I was doing all that well here. We'll see what happens. Yeah, my high score, I don't think I'm going to reach. Uh, but there you go. We did we did meet a goal. My previous high score was uh, 4,500. But of course, uh, let's see. Let's let's jump into a new one. I haven't done any of the weapon challenges yet. Uh, we got grenades. Let's see what the challenge actually is. Weapon challenge, grenades. Uh, so obviously we can throw grenades. So I don't know if we're just here to get four seconds. Oh, I haven't grabbed those uh, cop cloaking devices yet. So am I am I taking people out? Or am I just trying to destroy stuff? It looks like stuff, if I had to guess. Mission complete. We did it. We only got a bronze, so we'd have to give that one another try sometime. Let's try an actual gun here. Let's see. Let's do the submachine gun. Uh, normally the... the Okay, we're just trying to get points here and destroy stuff. That's cool, though. Uh, normally, the, the mission stuff is, like, much more evident as to what you're supposed to be doing. It'll be like, oh, yeah, do this or do that. This doesn't seem to be the case with the, the weapon ones. I guess you're just trying to get points. So we earned a bronze. I'm just going to keep shooting this, this thing here. Let's get a few people. There we go. Do we got a silver? Yeah, we got at least a silver that time. There we go. And let's see, what else we got for score challenges? Let's try hot potato here. Toast fellow civilians. Uh, where are they? Oh, so I'm just trying to run onto people? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm trying to literally light people on fire with my, my body. <laughs> that is ridiculous. There we go, get all you guys on fire. So the other thing to keep in mind, too, is that you can jump, so you're able to jump through fences and stuff. When people start shooting at you, you can jump over these fences, get at those people that are hanging out in there. Uh, how are we doing here? I think we got a bronze, but we need much, much more. Oh, man, where are the most people at? That is the question. I like that it's telling me to find a fire hydrant or, or water or something like that because I'm on fire. But dude, that's what I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be on fire. Take these dudes out. I don't think I'm quite going to get the silver on this one here. Oh no, I think I just got it right before it... F oh no, mission failed. Did I die? I'm not sure. It's something that I will have to uh, come back to at some point here. But, uh, like I said guys, I gotta say this is a great game. Uh, I definitely recommend it for anybody who's looking for, like, a really fun top-down, like, arcade you know, uh, 2D throwback-style game that's ki kind of like the old-school GTA games. This one is better, though. The control of the cars is better. The control of the character feels really good. Um, I just have a lot of great s things to say about this game, and I, again, I'm saying it for a third time or fourth time here, but I'm really, really surprised that more outlets, more journalists, uh, uh, reviewers, wh whatever you want to say, whatever word you want to use, I'm really surprised that they're not talking about this game more because it's quite good and it's a lot of fun. Um, so if you're looking for a game that is like that, I definitely recommend checking this one out because I think that you're going to be pretty surprised by it. Um, and of course, if you were looking to see if the sequel to Retro City Rampage was any good, both games have completely different characters, you know, different settings and everything like that, but this is sort of a pseudo sequel. If you're just looking to see if that was uh, any good, well, here you go. It's great. <laughs> I'm having a ton of fun with it. Uh, but there you go, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.